Welcome back. Today's video is going to be slightly different. I had an idea long ago in the past where I would make somewhat educational videos based on gameplay that I record from video games like the one that you're currently seeing. This game is called Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. Now I had found out that when I first started to play the game that all the maps are based off of real locations around Vietnam that were, you know, relevant to the Vietnam War. So that sort of gave me an idea uh, where I show gameplay of the maps and make a video talking about its history and its somewhat importance. So join me in the world of history of the Vietnam War and welcome to Ku Chi. With a small amount of background knowledge, Ku Chi is a district, not just a small town or anything like that. There is an airbase that was occupied by the 269th Aviation Battalion of the US Army at the time, but it is more famous today for its tunnel systems that were created by the Viet Cong, which took over 20 years to make. The final product of these resulted in the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese forces using it as a headquarters next to Saigon and near the edge of Cambodia. As of 2010, the district of Kuchi has a population of 355,822 residents and covers an area of around 435 kilometers squared, which is around 167 square miles. On February 26, 1969, sappers from the PAVN, or the People's Army of Vietnam, went to the American-occupied base and launched an attack with the sole intent of making the group there unable to do helicopter drop-offs and attacks. This attack was successful in favor of the PAVN forces, which left the base with nine Boeing CH-47 Chinook helicopters disabled or destroyed, which were owned and used by the 242nd Ash Company. Now to talk about the history of these tunnels. To combat the well-supplied American and South Vietnamese forces during the Vietnam War, the Viet Cong decided that underneath Cu Chi, they would make a tunnel system. The primary reason they did this was so they could more easily hide their troops, travel with communications, lay traps, and start surprise attacks. Once it was figured out that the Viet Cong had begun to dig these tunnels underneath, they would train some soldiers, who would soon become to be known as tunnel rats, to navigate the tunnels and disarm traps and do recon. In the early 1940s is when they really started to make these tunnel systems. In that time, they were trying to gain their independence from the French colonial authority, however they were only able to build these tunnels with their hands, going for only short periods of time. When the US came to the shores of Vietnam in the early 1960s, while following Nixon's policy of containment during the Cold War, the North Vietnamese and Viet Cong began to expand these tunnels in the Cu Chi district, which linked VC support bases and would soon become 250 kilometers long, or 155.34 miles of tunnels. These tunnels went from the outskirts of Saigon to the Cambodian border. The tunnels may have seemed to be tight and compact, which they were to a degree, but they spent much of their life underground. When villages would be heavily bombed, they would evacuate the entire village into these underground tunnels that they had built. Civilians would live underground with each, with each other and with their troops, and these tunnels would be so large that they are practically underground villages, complete with kitchens, living quarters, ordnance factories, hospitals, bomb shelters, you name it, they most likely had it. With some places even having theaters or music halls which were there to help relieve the soldiers of stress from the moment. The tunnels served them well in terms of combat and shelter because they were primarily used for sudden attacks, setting booby traps such as trip wires that would make grenades blow up. Uh, some would overturn boxes that were filled with po uh, extremely poisonous scorpions and snakes and those would fall onto the heads of unknown, unknown soldiers. And when these traps became more apparent and clear to the US and South Vietnamese troops, they would train these tunnel rats which would just usually be soldiers of smaller statures, to go into these tunnels, disarm the traps, navigate the tunnels, and come back after doing some basic recon. In January 1966, 8,000 US and Australian troops tried to sweep the Coochie district in a large-scale program of attacks called Operation Crimp. They would send in B-52 bombers to drop large amounts of explosive ordnance into the jungles below within Coochie, However, this would all fall short, and they would come up empty-handed, since the communist forces had already been moved underground into the tunnels just below their two feet. Around a year later, 
of 30,000 American troops launched an attack on the communist stronghold Bin Jun, just north of Saigon near the Cambodian border after hearing reports of tunnels within that area. The troops did bombing runs and destroyed the rice fields with powerful herbicides, and US tanks and bulldozers came charging through and began to dig up the tunnels, finding civilians and soldiers within them and having found several thousand residents. After a few months of that area being untouched after that invasion, the North Vietnam forces and Viet Cong would make their way back to those tunnels, rebuild, and in early 1968, they would be once again used as a stronghold in the second assault on Saigon during the Tet Offensive. Today, it is known that at least 45,000 men and women died defending the tunnels over the course of the Vietnam War. And after the fall of Saigon in 1975, the government of Vietnam preserved these tunnels and they are now part of the Vietnam War Memorial, followed along with a bunch of other memorials around the country. Visitors that come to Vietnam can crawl through the safer parts of the tunnels and can view plenty of different rooms just like the command centers. They can also look at booby traps and everything in between. They can even fire an AK-47 down a range and can also eat meals that soldiers there used to have. Hope you guys enjoyed this little history lesson. If you learned something new about the Vietnam War, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.